For this video, we're going to look at adding a sky dome light to light our scene so then we can render. So, at the top, we're going to go to Arnold. Let's change that. We're going to go to Arnold, Lights, and Sky Dome Light. This is going to place a sky dome into our scene, and this is what we're going to change. So, under the material attributes again, we go to the color and the tile checker. We click on that. Go to File, and then we go to the folder, and then we open our uh, HDRI, which is typically an EXR file. So I have a Park Bench one, which is in 4K. So I open that, and it places that into the Sky Dome. Now this is lighting our scene, but you know, may not be able to tell. All we need to do is turn on this light setting. This will show some lighting. Now it will look wrong, but that's okay because in the render view, it will look fine. Now there may be a couple of things that we want to change. So we may not be happy with the intensity of the lighting and we may not want the background to be rendered in our final renders. So for this, we're going to change a couple of things. For your lighting, the intensity and exposure is where you're going to be able to change that. We want to up the samples to around three, so then we get better lighting overall. And under visibility, we want to turn the camera down to zero. Now this removes the background in our renders and gives us a transparent background. So now we can go to Arnold and render and see how our render is actually looking. Okay, now this is the first time, it may take a few minutes to load in to the render view. So as we can see, it's rendered, and I'm quite pleased with the lighting on that. However, you may not, so you may think it wants more intensity. So as you open that, it will update real time. So it's good to have the render view open whilst we are changing the lighting in the scene, because then you're going to get a better understanding of how it's affecting it. So obviously, I put the exposure down, turn the intensity down to where it was at, and we've got a much darker object. If you do want the background in, just change the camera back to one because you may change your mind. If you're not happy how the lighting is on your object, you can either rotate your object or rotate the sky dome. So for this, we select the sky dome, we press E, and then we go around the green axis. And this is going to move the sky dome, which in effect is going to affect the lighting of your model. So on this, you should be able to see how the lights have turned around on it. And that is how we put a sky dome light into Maya.